after the warm tones of my wine dark stew, I want to bring out something that will help everyone cool down. And I'm making my ice cream cake with butterscotch sauce, which relies heavily on ingredients that are dangerously appealing to my children. Well, they appeal to everyone. So I have to keep them somewhere that they will never look. Afraid this is it. But luckily, I can grab them now, untouched by small hands, and just one stop at the freezer, and it's more or less done. Spectacular though this cake is, you need just ordinary, regular vanilla ice cream for it. It's what you put in that makes a difference. I'm going to leave those there to soften a little and get on with some of the filling. You need 150 grams of bourbon biscuits and I like to use some honeycomb, chocolate covered for preference, but a 40 gram bar. And then just go at them together with a rolling pin in a freezer bag until some a rubble, some dust and some sizable crumbs. Mm. You need a litre and a half of ice cream. So on top of this, you sprinkle your cookie and honeycomb crumbs. Oh, lovely. I'm going to keep some back because I like to sprinkle these over the cake when it's unmoulded. And now some peanuts, not ordinary peanuts, but honey roast peanuts. Yes, I know, more sugar, but you start worrying about the sugar content here. It's a bit of a waste of time. So in they go, 100 grams is plenty. And, oh, I love these. They're new in my life. You can't actually get them in England except online, and I'm such an internet shopping junkie. That's how I do it. They're chocolate and peanut butter swirled morsels or chips. They look like miniature circus tents. I want 200 grams of these. But don't worry if you can't get these, because to be honest, you can use milk chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips, white chocolate chips. In fact, any chips except potato chips. Again, I want to hold some back for sprinkling on top. They look so beautiful. While this is whirring, I am going to line the tin. Just makes it easier to get out later. And I have been taught a trick, which is that if you tear your cling this way round, it always comes out in a straight line. Ah, magic. Yeah, so one half. Other half. You get a few creases because I haven't done it that neatly, but that doesn't matter. Once it's sprinkled and served, it won't show. I don't think it's the cook's role to try and win applause. Obviously not. But nevertheless, I have to say it's very gratifying to make something that's as simple as this, but is just so spectacular when you serve it. Okay, so in it goes. Ah. For that speckled beauty. It's pretty fabulous as it is, but I think an extra and worthwhile touch is to drizzle it with warm butterscotch sauce. All you need to do is bung a few things in a pan and heat them up while the tagine is in the oven reheating, so no work. Fold over the bits of cling just to protect the top. So in to the freezer with a cake. Joy of joys, the butterscotch sauce for the ice cream cake. Need some cream and some butter. Always a good start for a recipe. You need about two tablespoons worth of unsalted butter and two tablespoons as well of ordinary white sugar. Three tablespoons of light brown muscovado sugar. You can use ordinary, soft, light brown sugar. I just love the treatliness you get from muscovado. <laughs> and, just in case it isn't sweet enough, some golden syrup. Quite a bit, you can see. I suppose about two espresso cups worth. Right, so heat on. 
This needs to bubble up and keep bubbling for about five minutes. And actually, I could have made this two days ago when I did everything else, but it's so simple to make, it's frankly no harder than reheating. And who's going to complain about the scent of butterscotch wafting through the house when they come in? Right, it's had its five minutes bubbling now, so a few drops of good vanilla and about 125 millilitres of double cream. Mm. This is really the perfect time to make this. No one's arrived yet, I'm calm, and although it's really piping hot and runny now, by the time it's sat and we've eaten our tagine, it'll be warm and really gooey just right for drizzling over the ice cream cake. I have a sweet treat in store. Just a little bit of salt My idea of perfect dessert. Yeah, I somehow thought it might be. Mmm, <laughs> that's just wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> The sauce just, oh, just blends it all together. Nothing succeeds like excess. <laughs>